guys, it took my hair. Hi, welcome back to my channel. This is Fab on a Dime, and thank you so much for 100 subscribers. We did it. That was my first milestone, and I want to thank you all so much for helping me achieve that. On this channel, I share budgeting tips, money hacks, all things personal finance. So if you like saving money and any of this interests you, please consider hitting that subscribe button. And today I'm going to be sharing some travel tips that will help you save money at the airport. I travel constantly and sometimes I'm looking for a flight online and I find an extremely cheap flight and I get really excited, but it's for one of those airlines like Spirit or Allegiant. And the reason why they're so cheap is because they nickel and dime you for literally everything else. So I found a way to avoid all the baggage fees and I can pack for an entire week's vacation in one personal item. So I'm going to share with you exactly how I do that step by step. multiple times a month, sometimes multiple times a week, just for work. So I've gotten really good at the whole packing process and coming up with a system that works so I can avoid the stress and hassle of extra bags and extra baggage fees. I'm gonna share exactly how I accomplish all of this. It's not that difficult, it just takes a little bit of organization. Step number one, make a packing plan. You're going to want to come up with a plan before you start packing. Take inventory of all of your clothes, check the climate, see what that's going to be like. I like to pack a pair of jeans that can go with just about anything, so you can use these with multiple different shirts. I like to pack a lot of black clothing because I know they're going to go. Uh, black goes with pretty much anything. I pack a pair of black jeans because I know I can wear this with multiple different shirts on different days and it's not going to be obvious that I'm repeating outfits. You're going to want to maximize the use of your clothing. Be sure to check the weather forecast for your destination so you know exactly what to pack. If it's going to be cold, you have to have your heavy coat, maybe some snow boots, and if it's going to rain, you need an umbrella. When it comes to writing a list, I love to use the app To Do by Microsoft. This is my favorite app on my phone. It's a great list making app that you can share with your friends if they're packing to go on the same trip with you. They're able to contribute to it as well. I love to have it as a tool so that I don't forget anything on my trip. Once you've written all the items and clothes that you want to pack and lay everything out, it's time to get started. Number two, separate all of your bulkiest clothes. If you have multiple pairs of shoes, you're gonna to wanna to take the bulkiest ones, like a pair of boots or a pair of heels, something that's bigger. You wanna wear these on the plane so you don't have to pack them. I like to dress nice and comfortable on the plane. I'll just wear a nice t-shirt and of course my bulkiest shoes. Then I will add a sweatshirt or a sweater. You always wanna dress in layers on the plane to save the most room in your bag. Add your coat. And of course, if you get too hot on the airplane, there's this neat little trick I know, and it's called taking your coat off. You can always hold it in your lap on the airplane or store it in the overhead storage bins. I also take my sweatshirt off and tie it around my waist, and then I'm nice and comfortable and ready to go on my flight. I always get cold on the airplane, so holding my coat in my lap is the best option for me. It keeps me nice and warm. But now that you have everything separated and you know exactly what you're gonna wear on the airplane, you can start getting packed. Number three, pick the largest bag possible. Most airlines, if you're not paying for a carry-on and you only have a personal item, they let you pack in a bag that's gonna fit underneath the seat. They usually say a small backpack, but I found this on DSW's website. I actually got this bag for free uh, with the purchase of a Christmas gift. Always be looking for deals like that. Um, I got this bag and it just barely fits underneath the seat, but it has just enough room for me to pack everything that I need to pack. So um, I think it's perfect. So always be looking for a bag that will just barely fit, but will still work so you can fit the most amount of things possible. Number four, maximize your space when you pack. When you finally start to put your clothes in your bag, you're going to want to use a rolling method instead of just folding them and throwing them in there. This rolling method I'm gonna demonstrate for you now. This is gonna save you a lot of room in your bag and you're gonna be able to fit more clothes.
You can also store items like socks, underwear, jewelry, all your smaller items inside of your shoe space. Here's a really good tip. Make sure you keep in mind what you'll need to have accessible. Make sure your liquids are in containers of 3.4 ounces or less and in a TSA approved bag or clear quart size Ziploc bag. I keep these at the top of my bag just in case I need to remove them to go through security. You'll need to have your medication, your boarding pass, anything else you need accessible such as your phone charger, your headphones, and your wallet of course. These things you should have at the top of your bag or maybe in its own pocket. You don't want to be stuck digging for things while you're traveling, that just adds more stress. I suggest adding these items to the front pocket for easier access. Don't forget your toothpaste, shampoo, conditioner, body lotion. If you're staying in a hotel or an Airbnb and they already have those items waiting for you, you might consider going without them so you have a little extra room in your bag. So that's it. If you plan ahead and you pack smart, you have a nice, light, easy, personal item that you can travel with underneath your seat. You're not having to spend money on carry-ons or a checked bag. If you have a great packing tip, go down to the comments, leave it below so that we can all learn from each other. I hope this video was helpful to you. If so, give it a like, hit that subscribe button for more money saving tips, and I hope to see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching.